What's up guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today, or tomorrow, depending on when this gets uploaded, we got more Halo Infinite gameplay footage from IGN, from their like IGN first program thingy. And this month it's gonna be all Halo Infinite up till launch, and today they revealed a new map, so let's just break it down. Alright, now already the first uh, I want to take a look at, and even though this is a small thing, is the motion tracker is still 18 meters. If you watch one of my, uh, uh, what was it? gun breakdowns on like Halo Infinite's weapons, you might have heard me mention that I actually prefer the radar range to be uh, 20 meters rather than 18 meters. Now it might be a small thing, but it was kind of an issue in Halo 5, but I don't know, this is a different game, so because in Halo 5 everybody just moved like everyone was on crack. So just a small detail I thought I'd point out. Now I also noticed a mangler down there at their spawn. This map is uh, asymmetrical, so I'm not sure if, you know, the other side has a mangler. And as you can see, uh, there's a shock rifle above on this balcony. Um, I wonder if the, uh, the other team has anything else. No, probably not another shock rifle. Again, this is asymmetrical, so maybe they have uh, something else. I think it's the heat wave where the vending machine is, where we're going to see in a sec. And as you can see, the rocket launcher is down at bottom mid. It seems to be a really small map. As IGN shows off more of the map and more gameplay uh, against bots, by the way, um, you get to see, wait for it, there it is. Mr. Chief is an AI announcer in your head. Oh boy, I wonder how many people are going to equip that. Moving swiftly along as IGN shows off more of the map in gameplay, um, it seems like the sidekick is still a 7 shot kill, which I am not a fan of. And I w I'm actually curious to see how the weapon balance is going to, like, you know, if there's anything different between the tactical flights we played and the final game. Because I'm assuming what we're looking at is pretty much the final game at this point. And you bet your ass, when the game comes out, I'm going to be analyzing those weapons once again. Now, I'm not going to sit uh, sit here and point out every single detail on this map. Obviously, they're, like, with uh, something like Bizarre and, and this map, there's a lot... There's bound to be a lot of easter eggs I'm sure people will find, so I'm going to leave that up to you. It's really nice and refreshing to finally have a multiplayer map set uh, in the nighttime. Uh, is there any other maps that have been set in nighttime in previous games? Uh, I know there was a mod in Halo CE or like a, a custom map. Oh yeah, here's the heat wave by the way next to this fucking <laughs> vending machine and candy bars. But uh, yeah, this is probably the first uh, night multiplayer map if I'm probably wrong on that but yeah it's nice and especially if it's like it's set in Numa boss are kind of uh, ODST uh, inspired so can't wait to play on this map a bit of criticism I'd like to give so far of the multiplayer maps we've seen in Halo Infinite is that well maybe minus uh, what's that behemoth BTB map is that I'm noticing a sort of lack of uh, interactable environments or even something as basic as fusion coils or red barrels, like, sure they were on Behemoth, but I'm talking about, like, you know, uh, seeing fusion coils on, like, you know, arena maps such as this. Like, we're, we're lacking sort of, like, basic things like uh, Halo 5's The Rig, where the active camo spawns, like, something like that, you shoot down. Uh, like, a fusion coils, like I mentioned, like, simple red barrels to shoot at, or... Um, Gravity lifts, like narrows, like I, I'm noticing we're, we're we're lacking some of that a little bit. I, I doubt we're gonna get any of that uh, at launch. I'm assuming that we're gonna be getting these sort of basic maps, which isn't a bad thing, but just something I'd point uh, I'd like to point out. The same thing kind of goes with the weapons. Now, what I mean by that is that the weapons themselves are obviously very like 343 did a really good job with the weapon sandbox itself. But I'm talking about like the weapon uh, placements on maps. Like I'm noticing a a trend again. Like uh, live fire, power weapon in the middle, two rifles on the sides, and maybe one power up. But that's only certain maps. And then we're looking at this map. You know, same rocket launcher in the middle. Um, oh yeah, and there's always seems to be like a shotgun in the middle or like bottom mid of the power weapon. Like I I'm noticing a weapon layout trend that seems to be the same and I'm not sure if I necessarily like that you know like where's a map with like two snipers like narrows or like you know uh, sanctuary or where's a map with maybe no power weapons and just two power ups kind of like Halo 5's Empire one active camo one overshield you know a, a various 
uh, a variancy in like, you know, there doesn't always have to be a sniper or rocket as a power weapon. Sometimes it could just be maybe one power up on a map and that's it. You know, something like if you played Halo 3 MLG's, uh, what is it? Uh, foundry variants like uh, Amplified and Onslaught, you know, those maps only had a mauler at bottom mid. You know, just, uh, I would like to see post launch, I guess, a varied number of weapon placements is what I'm trying to say. Also, I wonder whose dog that is. It's probably someone from 343's. <laughs> also, something that was stealthily announced during this video, uh, Kaylee, the lean multiplayer designer, uh, basically mentions that this map, Streets, is a competitive approved map for uh, Oddball. Which, this should be interesting because I thought maybe this... Uh, he also did say it's Strongholds, but I'm not sure if, you know, if it's competitive for Strongholds. But he did say it's competitive for Oddball, so I'm curious to see how that would play out as a competitive player myself. Uh, I do enjoy playing competitively. Um, I don't know. I mean, usually uh, for Oddball, it'd be... A map would be... The map would have a would have to have a place to drop off the ball, to uh, you know, to reset at the middle, so it doesn't just kind of play like King of the Hill and someone just stays in one spot. But I don't know. We'll we'll see how how that plays out. Now I'm sure with a map like this, there's probably a lot of uh, jump ups that are obvious and probably a lot of of uh, secret jump ups, kind of like Plaza. Um, if you watch some Plaza gameplay or like pros play, you know, there's they do some crazy things around Plaza in Halo 5. So I, I'm assuming people are going to discover some really sneaky jump ups in this map. And of course, I'm going to watch them and steal it. I guess something else I'll point out, as you can see during the HUD at the bottom right there, is that there is thruster on this map and you have three uses. Now, some some people during the Flight 2 tech test uh, really got lucky and was able to use the thruster. Um, but I'm curious to see how it plays out on this map. I'm assuming it will play pretty well. It's a pretty close quarters map. Um, and I can't wait to even use it. Probably, I'm assuming it probably feels pretty identical to Halo 5. But, you know, without the other movement capabilities of Halo 5. So, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, thruster is probably one of the few abilities that... I think works really well with Halo's gameplay. So I'm really happy 343 bought it back as a pickup. The space elevator outside the map is apparently getting rebuilt, because if you remember in uh, Halo 3 ODST, didn't that thing uh, break down? Especially in like playing Halo 3, you'll see pieces of it. So I guess it's being rebuilt, uh, if, if my lore serves me correct. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. And that's going to do it for this breakdown. Overall, I'm very pleased. Uh, obviously, aesthetically, th this is a very aesthetically pleasing map. And this is essentially uh, Halo 5's plaza, but like, you know, infinite style. And I can't wait to play on it. And like I said, hopefully um, later down the line, post-launch, get to see more uh, interact interactables and like, explosive barrels and whatnot on maps as well as different weapon placements and that's pretty much all i have to say so if you enjoyed this video leave a like and you can catch me live on twitch twitch.tv slash and until next time peace